Well, that felt good. It was only, what, three months too late? <laughs> but So and Sue uh, kept her head on square tonight. And, you know, that's what I wanted to see. James said just a couple of tentative moments coming out of the gate. But other than that, she was very good. Uh, the big track is going to help for a small horse. The big track is going to help her. She can jump up in, I believe she can, jump up into the Nomers of Three where she can make quite a bit of money. And, you know, for a filly that's sound, yeah, she had a bit of a, a rough three-year-old season and made a lot of breaks and was hot. But now, you know, if she falls in love with Mohawk, which it looks like she's on her way to doing, um, it's a good thing for us. So there's always, she always carries worth. Well, and she's a small filly, but at the same time, she's pretty well-bred. And uh, she does have some speed. So we have lots of options with So and Sue. They were there to begin with. It was a real problem getting her to a comfortable place. But now I think whether it's the weather or the big track or a number of things, shoeing and whatever, she's she's here now. But, man, she looks some kind of good there. She didn't come steamrolling off cover, but this is a filly that, that uh, this is her what, third start in 12 days and in two countries, by the way. So, you know, those long ships have to take a little steam out of your engine which maybe that helped too. I don't know. We'll see how she does next week. But man, I was really, really happy with what I saw from So and Sue tonight. Um, just heading back over to the barn. It's 10 o'clock right now. Heading back over to the barn. Going to check some temperatures. Check on some horses. I can assure you, you see some official scratches out there. There's going to be other ones. It's just a crappy time of year. It's minus 2 before the wind. It's probably up around minus 8 or 10 right now in Ontario. The middle of the last week, it was plus 15. We had no horses coming in from all over the, all over the world. Uh, all over North America. Um, from Harrisburg, from Lexington, from Ohio, private horses coming in, other horses shipping in. So you get this massive petri dish of germs and filth, and, uh, and the, this is the time of year where babies get sick. So we have some horses that are over the virus that are going to be going tomorrow. We have some horses that are just getting the virus that won't be going tomorrow. Uh, but rest assured, we'll have everything squared away for you guys before uh, before the open house. Listen, I know. I get it. I know you want to see your horses drawn, but we all want what's best for the horses, right? Next summer is what our eyes are on. And although it's frustrating to know your horse isn't going tomorrow, rest assured they'll be going soon enough. So um, we'll get, I'll try and get a, a real time list of scratches out to you. We'll get Curtis to scroll them down tomorrow because there is going to be quite a few of them. Um, and we'll get those out to you. 8 a.m. start tomorrow, guys. The reason being, James's son Griffin plays hockey at 11.30. He's asked that we get out of there at 11. That's why the sets are so big tomorrow. That's why there's so few of them. Six sets of nine tomorrow. And there'll be a few sets a little shorter than nine um, after we get cutting them. But six sets of nine going uh, in behind our, well, not in behind the gate, going around tomorrow at Tomiko Training Center. And then, obviously, we are set now to claim a horse Sunday night at Northfield Park, and we will, hopefully with some luck, get one of the two trotters we're looking at. Um, you know what? I should have saw if there were spots left yet before I made this video. Ah! Uh, message me. I'll look into that form. Uh, I'll look into the form. I'll have Kelly send the form out tomorrow. If there's shares left, if there's not, then there's no need for a form. But that will be finalized tomorrow. As I said, Sunday, 5 p.m. If you're not in by 5 p.m., you're not getting in. That's just the way it is. So I will talk to all of you tomorrow. All our videos start tomorrow. Obviously, what's fresh in our mind will be the babies will dominate tomorrow's opening uh, opening video for this weekend. And hopefully, it all goes very, very well. I will talk to you all very soon. Very happy. Our crazy girl was a winner tonight. So and Sue, a winner. New lifetime mark, I believe, wasn't it? 56 and 3. Great. Take care.